Hey everybody, I want to show you the painting from my last video that was the dip kiss. I guess everyone calls them differently. So this is the real canvas. Look, my nails are painted. They've never been painted in like three or four years. Very exciting. Anywho, my Mother's Day gift to myself. But back to my art. Um, so this is the canvas. So this is like the real one. Um, and I really like it. But what I like even more is this, the dipped one. And this is plastic. This is just a, um, a wood panel that still has the plastic on it. So I think I will, see, went in a nice picture. I'd have to take a snapshot of this because this is way cooler. I love this. Like right there. Perfect. Perfect. So, <laughs> yeah. So then I was trying to decide how I could get that outcome um, on the real thing. And I think part of, oh, hang on. Uh, okay, let me make sure. Woo, I lost ya. Yikes. Back up a little. Trying to make it because it looks a little blurry. Alright. I, I have no idea. It may be going in and out. I hope not. Does it? No? Nope. Okay. So, if I don't know what it's doing. Um, so, I was going to that, but I think part of the look that I liked so much on the plastic was that it was plastic. It's smooth as could be. Um, it doesn't have any texture like canvas. Um, even MDF or wood has texture. So, I suppose I will try the wood and prime it and then sand it as smooth as I can get and maybe then I will get that kind of look. Or I could dip on glass. Glass would be um, woo, a good one as well. Um, so those are my, my ideas. Um, and so this one, oh my gosh, there are so many things and I could not decide which I wanted to do. Um, I thought about, uh, here, let me grab it. Um, I thought about like doing the straw on just one of, okay, see, why is it doing that? Okay. Like that. There. Um and get this look, because I love that one. Okay, this autofocus thing is driving me bonkers. Oh my God. You can't even see that, can you? Ooh, there we go. All right. So, and that was just with a straw. So I thought about doing petals and just blowing that and doing that on here. And then I thought, well, what about silicone? Maybe silicone on here. Um, and then do like a paper towel swipe. And that kind of sounded fun. So I think I will do that first. And then if I don't like it, then I'll wipe it all off and do the other. So I've got Liquitex Basic Dioxazine Purple. Artist Love Phthalo Green, Artist Love Turquoise with Iridescent Medium, and this I believe is Payne's Gray mixed with Prussian Blue, but it doesn't sound like there's really anything in there, so we will find out. And then this is my um, latex house paint with Floetrol and Water. And this is just a piece of MDF. I taped off the bottom because otherwise it gets wet, sticks to this, dries to this, and then it pulls up. 
which this is the first time I've taped the bath, but I really should have been before this. I don't want too much white, so I'm starting with less. But you can tell I'm going to need more than this. So somebody said, and I'm going to try it, mix the paints with Floetrol and alcohol instead of water. Because um, now I have the 91% alcohol. And I think I will try that, but I will probably be putting my mask on when I go to torch it. And I always, always keep this next to me. <laughs> Hopefully I never have to use it because I've never actually used one, but I keep that next to me at all times, safety first. And I've got a really good respirator now for like the alcohol inks. Um, it hurts my nose and leaves an indent. And I didn't realize how long that indent would last. And I had, so I cannot use alcohol inks and then plan to go out like within an hour because that mark will not go away. And it is quite the lovely the lovely mark across my nose. But it sure beats, you know, lung cancer, so. Alrighty. And I am going to torch out the bubbles in this. Alrighty. Now here is where I'm like, oh, what do I do? take the lids off. Oh yeah, there is barely anything in that Prussian, Prussian blue paint gray one. That I think I will just Take a um, pipette. Ooh, that turned out better than I thought. I think these are in my Amazon shop. You get like a hundred of them, and they're like super cheap. Do I want silicone? Erg. You know what? I'm going to add a touch of silicone to this Prussian blue. And I'm going to stir it with this. Normally I would add it to the white, but let's see how this plays. a whole lot of color on here. And and I'm not wetting the paper towel and I'm going to use the torn edge. Ooh, that is really neat. Normally I would go out, 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 out.
paper towel. so much in the middle there. You know what? I wonder. one actually probably got a little bit too much. really like this. That something needs to be done with that. Oops. I wiped off too much. Hang on. Wait. Yeah. I like the idea of it just in the middle. need some more color. So we're going to try a different thing.
This is the same white that was in the bigger bucket, just really And now I'm going to see what it's like if I do the air gun. not doing what I wanted right away, so I don't think I will go that route. But I also, there's not enough stuff on here to even help it move. Mm -hmm. Still not what I'm wanting. I'm going to toss some of this. It's really getting in my way. So... just do try the balloon and maybe I can get this to look like that dip. Um, so let me snag a balloon real fast. told me apparently there is a helium shortage just in time for graduation woo, woo. I don't think my son needs balloon stuff Ooh, happy birthday it says This is when I'll have somebody say a kindergartner could do that. And then I'll say, oh my gosh, what a lucky kindergartner to get to play with paint. Which is the truth. Not 
know why I'm struggling so much with this painting. I think it's because I had a million and one ideas and I couldn't do them all. more Prussian blue. I want more than that. Just gonna... There we go, why not? So I'm talking about oaks. <gasps> yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Just dump it anywhere. Any old place is fine. Except I didn't want blue right there. Yeah. I love that. I really like this now. That was just, get the extra paint off of there.
was like a big weird cell from the silicone that I did not like. Same with that. believe it is done. Oh man, has it been off camera? Oh my gosh, has it been that blurry this whole time? For 28 minutes. Oh my gosh, with a goofy white balance. Weird. So it's a little overexposed. <laughs> well, really, I'm looking... It really pretty much looks the same as it does, because... Yeah, pretty much looks like this, so. So there you have it. I'm pretty happy with it. I like it. Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you next time. Bye. Okay, so I just watched the video, and I apologize for it being so overexposed. Um probably made it quite annoying to watch um but I wanted to give you and actually like the white looks the white is whiter than this but anywho this kind of gives you another look and that's you know there's not a lot of purple that showed through and there's a little right there so I just wanted to say I apologize for the quality of this film. That is what happens when I play around too much with the camera. Catch you later. Bye.